Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center for Golf, WRX, and Wisdom in Golf. And today, I'm giving you a full primer on how to properly throw the club. And if you can do that, you'll lag properly, you'll shift weight properly, you'll clear the body properly, and you'll have proper head position all the way through. How about that? So we're getting a flock of birds with the same stone, and uh, this, is, this is how you do it. First, you need a target. And you need a very safe environment. So if you have got a closed in, netted area, you may not have that. Many of the driving ranges have a netted, you know, surrounding around the range. Maybe you can go around, around the side and throw some clubs into their netting system or find a nice open field with nothing behind you so that you can do this safely. And if the grass is a little long, it, it's, it helps you go to the, you know, the, the used, used uh, sporting goods store and find some uh, clubs in the $5 barrel, paint them white, and then have at it. So first throw, very important, just an overhead throw, just like you're going fishing. So imagine you're going fishing, you've got a target, I'm gonna go for my wet paint sign, which is in the net here, and because I've got a target, guess what? My brain knows exactly when to let go. If you don't have a target, it can literally go anywhere. So the first throw is a nice overhead throw, once again. So if you're right-handed, put your left foot forward, you're getting ready to perform this throw. So this is a nice little mini kinetic chain. I'm going that way, I've loaded my fishing pole, throw it in that direction. So notice how if you put that in slow motion, you'll see perfect lag. If the ball's up there, I'm going to be just like a tennis serve, I'm collecting the ball there and releasing it in that direction. So the second throw is going to be an underhanded throw. So first to test this out, hold the club upside down like you're holding a sword. Give it a nice little slash. Imagine you're going through a little bamboo shoot or a little sugar cane. And you'll notice that the weight of the sword is going to release you on the other side. So the beginning of the cut's here, the end of the cut's there, and then you get this beautiful little release. So you're gonna feel how the weight of the sword, even though it's just the grip, is releasing you. You're not the one yanking it over or placing it. You're not hanging on to it, that would hurt. You're just letting it go. So now you turn it upside down and you'll notice, whoa, that club head is much more prominently releasing you. So you're gonna take the club and you're gonna throw it underhand now. So if I was throwing it towards you, it would look like this. So I'd be letting it go at the wet paint sign. So even though my eyes are there, my brain knows where the wet paint sign is and I'm going to throw it into wet paint. So notice a throw, we are letting it release. We're not shoving it there. We're not pushing it there. We're letting the weight of the club release us there, okay? So after you've successfully put a couple of those in there, now you can hold it like a golf club. And you're going to let the club release you in both directions, so you notice as I'm letting the club release me, see how my right hand is pronating inward, turning inward, which means the left hand has to supinate. It has to rotate outwardly and get the heck out of the way. It has to yield. So I'm allowing it to release in both directions. So you notice on the way back, I'm releasing through. So it's like if I, I was uh, clearing a jungle, let it release, let it release, let it release, I can feel that nice release in both directions. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Let it release, let it release. And then if I've got my target, I'm going to wet paint, let it release towards wet paint. If you don't have wet paint or something in your mind as you do this, it'll go backwards. So what's gonna happen is the brain doesn't know when to let go now because it doesn't have a target 
to attach itself to. So you're going to, it's going to stay in your hands, then you're going to let it go about this point. That's when the club's moving over your shoulder that way, or even worse, back this way. That's what I mean. You have to have a very secure area to do this in. So I'm going to wet paint. Let it release me to wet paint. Notice I'm just going to go nice and smoothly over to wet paint. So notice how my weight shifted, my body's cleared, my follow through is way out there. So now, here's how you do it. If you were to throw the club and not let go, if I throw this club your way and I don't let go, see what happens? My brain goes to the ground, use the ground to get my body out of the way, here it comes, deep lag throwing your way. So because I'm not letting it go, the right hand snaps over the left hand. There's that beautiful pronation supination. And then everything comes back towards me. Now, depending on the shot that you're going to hit, I want the high fade versus the low draw. So if I want to throw it into a low draw, I'll be throwing it low. So I'm going to throw it under the wet paint sign. So throw it low. If I'm going high, I'm going to throw it above the wet paint sign. Throw it high. So there's high draw versus low draw. Now, next week, so I want you guys to start understanding that this lag that we're talking about relates to a picture. It relates to a target. If you got no target, it, no joy. So we're letting it release somewhere. And then we're letting it release underhand somewhere. Even if your dominant side is this side. I still want you to let it do it with that trail hand. Then you put both hands on and then feel the same thing and you're throwing the club with both hands. And do it smoothly at first. Don't go crazy. The, because if you're shoving or pushing, that's when you're, you redline the engine and, the, and it could literally go anywhere. So that's not safe. So nice smooth throws in the direction of your target. Become very good at that. Next week, I'm going to show you how to put a ball in the way of that throw. That sucker has to be part of that party. This sucker cannot crash the party. Okay? See you next week.